Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> What's up, YouTube Squad? YouTube here, and today I'm going to be doing a reaction to Sonic. I mean, Classic Sonic versus Kid Goku by Animation Rewind. Now, I just want to point out that I am going to be eating some McDonald's while we're here, so just just go with it, okay? So yeah, this fight was released about like a half hour ago. I just got back from getting my phone turned on, so I have like my contacts and everything. And I also just got back from McDonald's, so yeah, I'm gonna be marching on a McDouble, small fry, and some Dr. Pepper with me right here. And yeah, plus my throat's still a little bit sore, and the volume is actually gonna be really kind of low for me because, because even if I have a halfway, you guys will barely be able to hear me talk if I if whenever I um have the volume up. So <clears throat> so it's gonna be kind of quiet for me, but it'll be an average volume for you guys. So without further ado. The original link is in the description, well, at least it will be soon, probably. <clears throat> Make sure you go subscribe to Animation Rewind, and without any further ado, let's get into this. If there's any ads in here, I'm going to try my best to cut them out. But yeah. I don't know, I'm pretty sure this is going to be like something from the new movie. Season 3 is running a quality over quantity format, so please check out the first episode of Season 3 being Smash Bros. vs. PlayStation All-Stars if you aren't aware of this new format. And also guys, check out Booby vs. Maka, Bath Alien vs. Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles, and the Monster Free For All. By the way, I'm putting my money on Kid Goku because Sean, I mean Classic Sonic. It's not really like. I mean, I want Classic Sonic to win, but Kid Goku. I think that Classic Sonic is, is going to lose against Kid Goku. Yep, Sonic Mania is pretty awesome. Also, thanks to Sonic Mania, we can put to rest a lot of the Sonic downplay. Some people think that base Sonic's absolute fastest running speed is simply Mach 1 or 760 miles per hour. It's actually Sonic the speed of light, so and when it goes super, it's 193 million times the speed of light. Mach 3 or roughly 2,280 miles per hour just from running, but this is only scratching the surface. In Sonic CD, we see Sonic break the time barrier. In the real universe, the fastest thing known to man is the speed of light. So to travel through a time barrier, you would at the very least have to travel faster than light. Now this feat in itself can easily be seen as an outlier. So if you want more consistent faster than light speeds, we have to bring in the almighty Super Sonic. Super Sonic has a 1000% power increase when compared to base Sonic. One of the fastest things we've seen classic Super Sonic do is travel from the asteroid belt all the way to Earth in at most 10 minutes tops. This is a distance of 297,458,583 miles. As the asteroid belt is roughly three times further than Earth than the distance we are from the sun. I know at most this only took 10 minutes because the sun never set on Angel Island and it was at near exact positioning in the sky before and after Sonic went to the belt. This would make Super Sonic roughly 2.7 times the speed of light. This 2.7 FTL fits nicely with the base Sonic comparison since 2.7 FTL divided by 1000 equals 1,784,751 miles per hour, which is massively hypersonic. With all this in mind, Classic Sonic does indeed have his flaws. Considering he has far less experience than modern Sonic, 
and his combat style is a bit more limited. Modern Sonic is open to implementing martial arts into his combat techniques, while Sonic is far more strict towards homing and spin dash attacks. Overall, the blue blur is fast, brave, and does what Nintendo does. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. Genesis does. Genesis does. Genesis does what Nintendo does. But yeah, um, Sonic, I mean, Classic Sonic also has the drop dash. Yeah, yeah, as you all should know, Goku was once a kid. In crazy to think about it, but Goku was once a kid, and he was sent to Earth by Planet Vegeta, only to be fine by this crazy man, and he wanted to destroy the Earth. Hit his head. Forgot about it. Became a good guy. The end. Let's get into the battle already. <laughs> Sonic in pretty much every previous episode they faced. We yep, Goku versus Sonic. Um, the weakest version of Goku into play, and maybe just maybe give this anthropomorphic hot dog a chance. It still might not I don't think he Goku does have a chance. So yeah, you might have to put in like Archie Sonic versus Kid Goku for him to have a chance. But Kid Goku is the kid of stainless steel. I mean, it's literally stated in the manga. Archie Dark Sonic versus Kid Goku. That could go over by so okay. I don't know. Goku is better than Superman because stainless steel is like steel but stainless. Now I'm only kidding around. In all seriousness, almost all metallic weapons cannot pierce Goku because of this. Goku's Kamehameha easily surpasses Master Roshi's in Roshi's. It's also a moon boss thing, or else if it's just like a team a version. But I am a firm believer in moon level Kid Goku. Why? Because considering all the other crazy stuff Kid Goku can do, this is not outlandish. Uh, excuse me, but I guess. The manga scan before and as well as breaking the fourth wall. I will pass those off, those off as outliers, but if we are having conversations about reality warping Kid Goku, then we're certainly not wanking him. And that is a good place to draw the line. That would be wank. Moon level Kid Goku is not. Let's also not forget that Kid Goku is one fast frat boy. He learned how to dodge lightning and how to create after images. Dodging lightning would make you roughly Mach 286,000 or 220 million miles per hour. Roughly one third the speed of light. And last but not least, we have Kid Goku's most powerful form known as the Great Ape. When Goku looks at a full moon, his sand instincts kick in. As so it'll probably be Kid Goku versus like Classic Goku, Sonic, Phil and then it'll be the Great Ape versus the Super Sonic. Transformation into this legendary Great Ape. His personality is overcome by his instincts, and as a Great Ape, he only has two things on his mind: kill and destroy. With his tremendous power, he can destroy an entire planet over time, usually within an hour. Overall, Kid Goku is a casual moonbuster and a true force to be reckoned with. And now let's set ourselves a circumstance. This will be no prep time. Spider animation. Green Hill Zone. And will take place in the Green Hill Zone. Once that bar loads up, let's buckle in and get ready for the fight. Let the battle begin. So again, I'm going for Kid Goku. Don't get me wrong. I want Classic Sonic to win, but I believe that Kid Goku's gonna win. The heck is this? All right, how about we settle this quickly? What is this? Supposed to be like a Sonic 3D Blast type of sprite battle? So far, class time is going to do a good job, but this is going to wear off over time. This was, I could tell this was animated by Gabriel Lamb. Nice job. Yep, this is the part where Classic Sonic starts to lose it, I think. Oh crap! Oh! Win 
Okay, Super Sonic. Good, good, good Goku. And now... And now Pico is just gonna go 8. Hypersonic right now. Awesome! I mean, yay! Yes! I mean, I'm glad Classic Sonic won. I thought Kigoku was gonna win because of his A form. He didn't even go A. Good job, Gabriel M. I'm not, I'm not even gonna cut. I'm, I'm not even gonna cut this part out. Well, yeah. now for the post analysis. I completely thought that Kid Goku was gonna win, but once uh... So yes, Classic Sonic is the winner, but there are some important remarks I need to make. Remember, if this is a battle between Kid Goku versus plot slash lore classic Sonic with no preparation within a random encounter, the chances of Goku's great ape form being used is very slim. The great ape can only be achieved with the full moon. Meaning the chance of this happening with no prep randomly is roughly 3%. That means there is a 97% chance Kid Goku won't go grade 8. Regarding the plot slash lore of Classic Sonic, there is a 50% chance Sonic will go super within the plot and lore of being in the Green Hill Zone, which can only have one or two outcomes. One, Sonic just entered the Green Hill Zone in the beginning of the plot with no emeralds. Or two, Sonic has re-entered the Green Hill Zone after gathering all the emeralds, finishing the plot. There is a 50% chance of Super Sonic and a 3% chance of Grade 8 Goku. I decided to round up considering it's a random encounter that features a crossover. It would make sense that Sonic is done with Eggman and all alone, the plot is finished, instead of starting his adventure with Tails by his side. So if this was a true one-on-one -on -one with no prep, it is more likely and more realistic to have a scenario where Super Sonic vs. Kid Goku and his base form is the match that is about to proceed. Yes, there are chances for other matches, but this is the one that makes the most sense if everything was purely random. So with all that in mind, let's break down each category. Sonic! He's the fastest in the life. Now, by association, we would all just want to lock our eyes and say, yeah, Sonic's the faster one. He's the speedy guy. He's supposed to be faster. But just comparing base forms, this is a lot closer than you might think. Kid Goku is fast enough to dodge lightning, which would put the kid at... He's about 200,000 times 000. faster. Classic Sonic, while on one occasion... Or 20,000 times faster, I should say. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. easily be passed off as an outlier. A more realistic speed for Classic Sonic would be decreasing the speed of Super Sonic by a thousand percent, which puts Sonic at Mach 2348, making Sonic roughly 2,000 times faster than sound. This is massively hypersonic speeds, which is a fair ranking for Classic Sonic, but this still makes Goku faster than Base Sonic by roughly 120 times. Lucky for Sonic, his super form easily covers this gap. Remember, we've seen Super Sonic travel from the asteroid belt all the way to Earth in under 10 minutes, making him 2.7 times faster than light. So at their best, Sonic is roughly 9 times faster than Goku. While Goku is faster than base classic Sonic, Sonic's super form comes in to seal this category, giving him the edge in speed. When it comes to strength for Sonic, he is strong enough to turn industrial steel cogs with the strength of a spin dash or Okay, so Goku does Wait, percent to increase times length. Okay, so So Key Goku has the edge in strength. Sounds like a lot, it is, but sadly for Sonic, 60,000 is nothing for Kid Goku. Goku easily pushed a boulder that was roughly 10 times taller than him and 8 times wider. Even if this boulder was of the weakest of rocks being limestone, this would still be at least over 700,000 pounds or 350 tons. So Sonic has the strength to push 30 tons, but Goku can easily push over 350 tons. 
even if we add Supersonic's 1,000% increase, Supersonic would rank at 330 tons, which is still weaker than Kid Goku by a whole 20 tons or 40,000 pounds. Overall, Kid Goku is roughly 11 times stronger than Base Sonic and 20 tons stronger than Supersonic. You got the touch! You got the power! Without question, going to be the most controversial category for the debate. So about two, <coughs> so about two hundred thousand to fall, two point five billion tons of TT. God dang it! Fall like nothing. We know the fall is over twenty thousand feet since he was higher than the cirrus clouds around him that only form at those heights. To fall a height without splattering like a pop balloon would mean that Goku can easily survive the force of two point five million tons of TNT. This is easily city-level durability. His power can also scale to Master Roshi's moon-busting Kamehameha, putting Goku's power at moon level. And now for Sonic. This is a tricky one. I can either go with a No Limits Fallacy Super Sonic, since we don't know the true peak of Super Sonic, or I can go with the toughest thing and most powerful things Classic Super Sonic has done. Technically, by definition, Super Sonic is invincible, but this can easily fall under the NLF category. For raw numbers, modern Super Sonic is powerful and durable enough that the final Egg Blaster. The final Egg Blaster can easily destroy star clusters, which puts modern Super Sonic at a star plus level. The gap between modern Super Sonic and classic Super Sonic is considerably wide. If we use the speed gap as a linear measurement, the power and durability drop would put classic Super Sonic closer to that of a planet level for both power and durability. Overall, while Kid Goku does have moon level power, it's not much considered to Super Sonic's planet level power, considering the Earth weighs 81 more times than the moon. No, Pretty sure Classic Sonic has his cause Goku Kid Goku is just kid. Sonic, he's also far better trained, learning from Roshi, Popo, and even some minor life lessons from Bulma. Classic Sonic, on the other hand, while he is far more independent, he lacks conventional training, which makes him far more raw when it comes to tactical hand-to-hand -hand combat. Final body, it's the final countdown. All in all, this is an extremely close battle. Both characters do have significant advantages over each other. Sonic is faster, Goku is stronger. Super Sonic is more durable and powerful, Goku is smarter and more experienced. This splits both characters at three edges apiece, however, Sonic's gaps are far wider than Goku's. Super Sonic is nine times faster than Kid Goku, compared to Kid Goku only being about 6% stronger than Super Sonic. Super Sonic is 82 times more durable and powerful than Kid Goku, while Goku only has a one-year experience edge, and while he is considerably more intelligent having tactical training, neither of the two are actually brainiacs by any means. Oh, okay, so I thought I thought Supersonic would be smarter. Classic Sonic. It's the super form that's going to give him the trouble. And yes, the grade 8 form wasn't really factored in, and that could have easily turned the tides of this battle. Call us crazy, but the first Dragon Ball fight of Season 3 results in a loss, making the winner of this battle Classic Super Sonic. Now, if you do want to see a rematch between Great Ape Goku versus Super Sonic, all you have to do is... Between what Goku versus Super Sonic? Making the winner of this battle Classic Super Sonic. Now, if you do want to see a rematch between Great Ape Goku versus Super Sonic... Oh, Great Ape Goku versus Super Sonic. I thought that's how this battle was going to kind of play out. likes, there will be a rematch. Also, don't forget to comment down your own ideas and stay tuned as I reveal the next fighters for next Saturday's episode. I'm predicting next that one of them is going to be Shantae because of what he posted on Twitter. Got it! I caught him! Dude! Or did I? Wait, 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 hold on a minute. What's going on? Okay, I thought it was a Shantae versus Shovel Knight rematch. Nice, okay, so... Two free-for-alls. There was the monster free-for-all, and now we have an indie game free-for-all. I'm predicting Kara is probably going to win that free-for-all, but... But that's cool. Wait, what's it say? Please watch the fights early and get insider access. I hope you enjoyed.
enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to sharing more in the future. I'm Animation Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later. Also, super quick shout out to all those who retweeted my tweet a few days ago. Before I shout everyone out, I just want to say I apologize if I pronounce your name wrong, and I apologize if I don't get exactly everyone. Right, Depending on the exact time you retweeted versus the time I'm recording this, may have an effect on whether or not I got to see your name on the retweet list. But with all this in mind, special thanks to Nehemia the Destroyer, Spencer Smith, Jenna Thompson, Night Fang, Reason Network TV, Paul Cutler, Anthony Lisi, Star Breeding Draws, Organization XVX, Eddie Marion, Battlestar aka Mimaton, Kush Fan, Vipalik City, Fish and Chippies, Puppet Lord 3663, Sharif Johnson, Legendary Warrior 1, Al Amin, Super Ninja Lino, Captain Chink, aka the MLG Avocado, Dark Lightning Neo, Falcon Fire Jose, Spencer F, AJ Morn, Wack Jacko, B Twit 3, We YouTuber, Venus Bloomer, Yeah, Lori Johnson, You're welcome, bro. 14, Max, Erica Ward, Hugo Solis, Unbroken Seal Zero, Supersonic Man 93, Juan 444551, Jiffy Cones R, Final Flash 79, Jamie 1204, Crimson Dark Eye, The Smasher 1386, Ender Sonic 108, Zamasu Black, Behind the Majin, Invincible Iron Man 163, Zancha A, Kyle these. Bennett, Tommy Sully Plays, Just Sagan, Arctic Ace, Jaden Allen, Little G Fresh, Depressed Demo, Shadow Rouge Boy, Vorica T, Dark One, Earthbound EX, Tornado Pork Up, and Billy W. Thank you to all who have retweeted. I do apologize if there were some extra ones who I didn't get to see on this list. It all depends on the exact time, and I'm sorry if I pronounced some of your names wrong. But thanks again. I do appreciate it. And I'll fast forward to you later. You're welcome, Animation Rewind. And, I, and guys, thank you guys again for watching this video. If you like this video and you want to see more, leave a like on this video. If you dislike this video, please let me know in the comments down below. Maybe it might be able to Jesse Theory. And also, guys, let me know. <coughs> excuse me. Let me know down in the comments below for a question of the day. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, that was like. That was like a tiny clip from Smash vs. PlayStation All-Stars. Let me down the comments below for the question of the day. Who do you think should have actually won this battle? I honestly thought the kid Goku was winning because he had his great 8 form. But then once I heard about like when he achieves it, how he can achieve it, and how he will be able to achieve it, that would make sense. I mean, don't get me wrong. I am glad that Classic Sonic did win, but I, but I chose wrong. But I'm at least happy that Class Sonic won, even though I thought King Goku would win. Also, guys, if you're out on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to become part of the Wii YouTuber squad. And make sure you hit the bell to be notified when I upload another video. And you're welcome, Animation Rewind, for retweeting that post. I think it was something about Jake Paul or something. <laughs> and make sure you guys check me out on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Snapchat. Actually, not Snapchat. Facebook, Google+, Twitter. And Discord as well. I am very active on those sites. Because I actually am going to be starting to be slightly more active on Twitter, but not much. But what the hey? What's wrong with the majority vote, you know? And yeah. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get on my laptop. If, if that doesn't work, I'm going to get the power detector app on this. Try to get the thing down. <sighs> and hopefully it works. So either way, so either way, I hope this can go down. Since this video was split into two parts because I forgot to delete those other small clips and my dad had to call me a couple times. And yeah. So thanks for YouTube Squad new comments to watch this video and we YouTuber out, y'all. Peace, Bustingtons.